Hello, and welcome to the Computer Share Ask the Expert series. My name is Jason Stegora, and today I'm joined by my colleague, Mark Cleland. He is the CEO of Issuer Services based in the UK. Mark, thank you for joining us today. Hey, Jason. Great to be here. Thanks. All right, so today we're talking about navigating the IPO process. And so my first question to you would be, what would be um, computer shares overall position in the market. And can you give me a summary of our perspective on the IPO process? Yeah, sure. No problem, Jason. Computer shares a global financial services organization. We work with clients all across the globe in all the key capital markets. One of our specialisms is working with companies on their IPO journey, whether that's pre IPO, during the IPO or post IPO. And we do that really from a governance lens. There's a huge challenge that companies go through moving from a private to a public company with many different challenges, particularly around the governance arena. And we help and support companies by sitting alongside them to work them through those very complex matters. Sure. So it is a complex transition for a company to go through. What are some considerations or pro tips that you can offer with our audience on uh, things that they need to think about early in the process as they're on their IPO journey? Like anything, with the, particularly on the IPO, getting your advisors in as soon as possible, discuss the various items that you need to go through. There's going to be big changes mm. for you to go to a public company, whether that's through in the UK, the market abuse directive, or the obligations you're going to have from a reporting cycle perspective. So the sooner you can get your advisors mm. in working alongside you, whether that's weeks, months in advance, you know, sometimes we work with clients you know, a couple of years in advance of that, to get you really ready for day one of listing. It's about putting in processes, technology, training for your teams as well. We can really support that through, again, through a governance lens and helping clients get ready for day one listing. The important part is that we can sit alongside your legal advisors and your financial advisors and act as a real practical partner to you as you go through the IPO journey and working along and sitting alongside your teams. Interesting. Okay, so after day one, there is still, I'm sure, many things that need to happen in a post-IPO world for, for companies. Any considerations you want to share for our audience, what to think about, what to plan for after they publicly list? Yeah, and that's when the real work starts, Jason, and kind of from day one. Now, we've again, we've, we've helped you know, hundreds of companies list across the globe. We work with thousands of companies uh, across the world in terms of supporting them through their first year of trading. It's a lot about getting, making sure you've got an annual cycle ready, whether that's to do your reporting, your regular reporting, your board support. We act across all that governance landscape and make sure that you, you kind of make you have a really smooth process for day one listing. Fantastic. Well, thank you for your thoughts in this conversation about navigating the IPO process. Thanks, Jason.